Well, welcome back. Place work is often used in television, movies, and books. And now you have a chance to learn about what goes on in being a police officer with the Citizen Police Academy. Applications are now being taken for that. And joining us now is uh, Sioux Falls Police Chief John Toome. John, thanks for coming yeah. in. Thanks for having me. In this beautiful weather out there. <laughs> well, I have a request. I saw you went live from the chamber. Yeah. Next time the weather's like just this, we're, we're just going to do in it your living room. kitchen. Here, my yeah. living room. <laughs> right. Right. That way I don't have to come out. Get, you know, you've been doing this a while, this Citizen Police Academy. Yeah. Just talk about what the goal of it is. Well, yeah, it started, I mean, even when I was a brand new officer and mm -hmm. uh, this program was running. And, and what I've seen throughout the years is just it's really great at building uh, relationship and networking with the community. If you look at law enforcement, everybody thinks they're an expert in the yeah. field because they watched enough uh, TV shows. Yeah. Uh, whether it's, you know, Blue Bloods is the one I hear yeah. about. I'm not sure that's <laughs> on this network though. I'm not <laughs> yeah. very pay attention. <laughs> but you know, people, people watch and they consume and they find mm -hmm. police work fascinating. But there's a lot of maybe misunderstandings of how things actually work. And so this provides a 10 week opportunity to really get in to our, our department and get a behind the scenes look at how we operate and really how police work really mm -hmm. operates. And how does someone apply if they want to go forward? Uh, there's a link online. If you look, I think, um, on our, our Facebook page or the city's SiouxFalls.org under police, there's an application process. And another great thing about this program too is you'll see our, our logo, but also Metro Communications logo. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a behind the scenes look at how, what dispatchers deal with too. And they're an important part of our operations. And I think another position that people, when they really learn about what they do, uh, really, are, it's fascinating and how critical they are to public safety. And it's a 10 week, you meet yep. once a week, uh, starting in mid-March. Tuesdays. Uh, Tuesday nights. From 6 to 9.30. Okay. So it, it's a time commitment, um, but it really, the commitment you make is really worth it. We, we rarely have anybody complain about their experience. Yeah. In fact, a lot of times people are like, well, I wish I could do that again. I learned so much. And really, when people are well educated and understand our profession, they can really advocate and explain to people and be ambassadors for us about what we do and, mm -hmm. and how we operate. 100%. We need that now more than ever. Absolutely. Well. I, I see these classes. Where are they held? Uh, they're held in our police department. Okay. Okay. Right? And so, uh, we, we, like I said, we'll give full tours. Uh, we hold them in our classrooms. What I'm excited for in the future is this public safety campus opens in mm -hmm. fall of 2023. We'll really be able to ratchet up the Citizens Police Academy. and and give a great experience out there as well. So limited to 40 applicants. You know, you've talked about the, the challenge. It's gotten challenging your profession has. <laughs> yeah. It seems like here in recent years. What are some of the challenges you know, you're seeing? Well, I mean, it's, it's really just, you know, there's a lot of, ch uh, law enforcement has always been challenging, yeah. uh, but things have been well covered as far as some of our crime rates and some of the different things that are happening in society and kind of some of the, the lumps and bruises that law enforcement have taken over the year. And really it's just things ebb and flow. There's a pendulum to our mm -hmm. career, uh, we've seen it before. We just wanna stay the course, make sure we build healthy relationships with the community and make sure that people understand we're a top notch police organization. But really it helps more if people are involved and this is part of it. And just mm -hmm. a little, you know, this fall we're setting three dates kind of for some community interaction meetings. Um, and we'll obviously probably yeah, talk, about talk about that in the future too, so we can go out and interact with the community and make sure that we're, we're communicating as best as well, we can. And you need people to go into this field, especially in a place yeah. like Sioux Falls with a growing population like we have, oh, yeah. to yeah. keep Ab up. Absolutely, yeah. and if you, look, if you look at the headlines throughout the country, there's law enforcement shortages nationwide, and yeah. the, the amount of applicants that we used to see, we just don't see. We're doing far better than many agencies our size. Sure. In fact, we hired a group of six new officers yesterday, so we're okay. at 282 of our authorized strength of 288. But really we need people who want to step up for their community, who really want to serve their community. Mm -hmm. And I think we're the department to do it. And we want to encourage anybody that wants to apply. Citizens Police Academy is a great way to gain right. some knowledge and, and to do that. But also we're our recruiters and our we're always willing to talk about our profession. Right. Well, Chief Toon, thanks for coming yeah. in this morning. Appreciate thanks for it. having me. I'm going to brave the cold and go <laughs> back to work now. So. Work. All right. Well, stay with us. Fast Cast is next.